Hello everyone, my name is Poncho. I'm a content creator on YouTube, a top 100 Snorlax player in Pokemon Unite, and a new item enthusiast. This season has got me riled up, and today we're going to be trying something a little bit freaky out on Snorlax. It's going to be the Rapid Fire Scarf. No, not this blue one that I'm wearing. It's going to be the new item. It's going to give you attack speed after you attack a certain amount of times. So we're going to have to utilize that pretty effectively, otherwise we're going to look like a super duper. <laughs> Heading into combat here, I'm going to try to get a stack early if possible. It's not necessary, but it does help a lot. You're going to be a little squishy when you take Rapid Fire Scarf, so the Aos Cookie helps to offset it. Look at the class, look at the boat! Tried to juke that beam and I was unable to, it was unfortunate. Um, I'm going to try to get this barrier to hurry back to the fray. See if we can secure the last hit over the Scarchomp thing and thing in my bob here. Slap him. Now the passive's going, so notice how quickly I start to attack. Uh, well, I can't show you just yet. Oh. I can't show you just yet. As you can see, I'm in a little bit of trouble, but I'm going to try to show you in a second. Um, I'm going to get the last hit here, see what we can do about the situation. So the bees are going to spawn shortly, and I'm going to try to charge up my passive auto attack belt on the um, bees, and then I'm going to try to use my in, my enhanced auto attacks on the bad guys. So check it out. There's a mosaic. So I charge it up. How many autos? Now it's popping. Look how quickly I auto now. I'm gonna steal that one too. See you later, buddy. Don't forget to like the video. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I walked back in. I deserve that one for laughing at him in post too. In post, I'm laughing at him in post because I want to do real good commentary on this one. Uh, so uh, the problem with this build is that it's not really gonna replace your favorite Snorlax flail builds anytime soon. But you can combine it with some tanky items, and it kind of works medium well. I'll try to show you some more examples of it working well shortly. But this is a good example of enemies to try to use it against because they don't have a lot of peel to stop you if they interrupt you while your rapid fire scarf is procced as a snorlax you're boned and you're not going to do that much damage okay so i try to juke the beam i go back in steal the last hit on that one and i'm walking out baby just gonna bide my time here try to be patient i'm trying to record a video after all so juke the beam slap him to death oh my gosh i had the passive charged up but he got immunity from scoring i'm gonna slap him here now it's charged up so they're in a world of trouble i have the cutoff angle on you as well I'm going to let Battle Force pick up that one. Oh, I thought I could score 20. I forgot I didn't have a score shield on. I'm so used to having score shield. <clears throat> I ping keep the pressure on because I think we can smurf on this guy, but it's so close but so far away. I just do a little jaunty try to fake score on him. And the healing from this Battle Force right now is saving the game for us, let's be honest. Okay, it looks like they want a little bit more of the smoke, so I'm going to try to circle around him and just scare them off the bees a little bit. We're going to bide our time, though, so we can make sure we get the Regieleki. Okay. Okay. Now I'm on now I'm on fast Snorlax mode. So who are you gonna talk to? Who are you gonna talk smack about? Let's go. Alright, so you get a little Super Saiyan buff. See? So after you charge up four auto attacks, so it's like one, two, three, and the next one's gonna start popping off. So you need to time your flail button with the rapid fire scarf. Otherwise you're gonna be using the rapid fire scarf when you're on flail cooldown and you're gonna really embarrass yourself. I wasn't joking about that part. So we got a big advantage here. It looks like they're going to get pushed into it. Oh my goodness, what are they doing? That's, that's, that Mew just flew right towards us. And this is another good thing we can do with the Rapid Fire Scarf, is burn objectives. So I'm trying to show you how fast I'm autoing so you couldn't see under the popping off of my teammates. But uh, we were able to get a lot of damage off really fast to rush objectives down, which is always valuable in this type of meta. Um, you can get distracted for just one millisecond and then lose a game like that. So I try to uh, find builds that can rush down objectives when I'm trying to carry, and this might be one of them. Uh-oh. New busted Pokemon? Can he defeat me with the rapid fire score? <laughs> nice flash, bud. Oh! Okay, I deserve that. I stand corrected. Back to business. No, sir. Rematch. Round two. Oh, my God. Oh my, oh my god, okay, well that does a lot of damage for some reason. I can't even step up to get that. Uppercut by the guy, he's miming forward. Despite the warnings of Pokey iOS in his ears, he does a lot of damage. He's gonna... Oh. Round th best out of three. Pikachu was popping off back there. 
So we're coming down to the second Reggie Alecki. I'm gonna cage this bird. I wonder why the cage bird sings. I mean, we we literally caged the anyway. Sorry. So we ca we did that to the bird, and now we're gonna try to get the Reggie Alecki rush down. How? Using the rapid fire scarf on the auto attacks. Let's get it charged up. Dodge the stun, or it's gonna waste it. Oh, no. Okay, I have it charged up, but I was gonna try to I was gonna try to uh, make sure I blocked that anyway. It's, it, I could have also charged it up and sprinted into the bush and just started trying to hit them in the face. Looks like they got the Registeel. Unlucky. That's going to help them out with the fight. Uh, oh, uh oh, I missed. I couldn't block the guard chomp. The bird might die from my crimes. Oh, it went in. <laughs> no! Is that the next level 4D chess play? Or was that just an accident? Oh, Pika with the instant double kill on the ball. That was hilarious. This Pikachu's popping off. Surprise, oh my goodness. And I, oh. oh, okay. Well, that was good. Continue farming here. Look at how fast I can vacuum up farm with the flail attacks. It's a close match. We're not doing too bad. This is going to be perfect. Um, do, I pinged defend our goal zone. Lately, after the three minute mark, I've been standing on the defense pad like it's after Rayquaza and you're ahead. Just to stop crazy shenanigans from happening where they back cap you over and over again. And it's like you're waiting for Rayquaza. You know what I mean? I'm going to save your life. No! I couldn't save the battle force there. I couldn't believe it. Um, he got a little caught out there trying to see if he could sneakily score before the two minute mark. See, it's a very tempting endeavor to try to do that. That's why I try to stand on goalposts and defend mostly between three minutes and two minutes, even as Flail Snorlax. All right, Reggie Alecki number three is now beginning to spawn, and guess what we're going to try to do? Use our Rapid Fire Scarf to rush it down? Uh, well, we don't have time to. We can make sure they can't get it, though. Let's see, do a little test damage. No, it's unlucky. All right. Oh, Mew's got caught because of it. Oh, the Unite move by the Mew. I'm just going to crowd control here. Hopefully Scyther gets the message. Yep, Scyther's popping off now. Get him, Scyther. Okay, the bird arrow. Oh, we're in the corner with him. He What? What was that? Okay, I'm going to have to Unite just to kill one guy, I guess. That's a broken Pokemon. Okay, I'm slapping. I'm slapping. Now I'm going quick. Oh, but he crowd controlled me right when I was able to use my auto See. That's the problem with rapid fire build if they crowd control you. Maybe taking full heal would be better. Um, if, if they crowd control you while you're doing it, it's just over. Okay, Pikachu does a lot of damage here. Pikachu is soloing the entire enemy team while they were chasing me down. Yes! Oh no! Oh yes! Oh no! It's such a roller coaster of emotions as they're scoring behind the lines here. Okay, Sylveon goes down for it. Let's get back to the middle ASAP. Um, we are now behind. So I'm going to try to put pressure on this thing to get it low. Even though it says we're a close match, they just scored. So you probably know how it is. Okay, our Shifu. Now or never. Okay, the bird hits an arrow. He punches me backwards. I get knocked up by the Rayquaza. I just can't get my auto attack passive to proc. Okay, now it's going. Now it's going. You see how quickly I was able to auto there? Shield for a second. Push him back. Switch to the auto attack form. I'm a ninja in the shadows, baby. All right. And then uh, I'm going to have to back for HP. We actually were able to get ahead because they completely tunnel visioned and someone was able to back cap on our team. So uh, it wasn't a big issue and now we're pretty far ahead. The bird is ultimating. I kind of like it. Um, <laughs> I, guess I, I guess I was a little bit displeased with that bird's antics right there. So guys, if you thought it was a good video game video, uh, make sure you subscribe for more content like that. Let me know in the comment section what I should be able to do next. It's probably going to be Deruladonna Snorlax content, let's be honest. But, you know, you guys can check me out 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday and shout at me to play something different if you want. I'll be live then. So uh, go ahead and check out the channel. I appreciate anyone who clicked on this, even for just a second. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Uh, peace out, and I love you. Six in a row? Question mark, question mark? <laughs> All right, see ya.